Hello, this is Rob Coven here, and today we're going to do the all-important email capture form. MailChimp is free with up to 2,000 subscribers. So MailChimp.com, and we're going to sign up for free. So we sign up there with an email address, a username, and a password. And then you have to activate your account by clicking a link on the email that comes from MailChimp. Okay, so the activation link has been clicked, so now we can log in using the username and password we set up when we registered. Okay, so when you just registered with MailChimp for free, you're greeted with this screen. And to start off, we are going to create a list. So there we have no lists, and we click up here, create a list. So we'll give it a name. So the from name, it's always a good idea to put a real name because the recipients of your email will actually see this name in the from column of their email client. So it's better to see a real name rather than the name of a company or something like that. Similarly, I'm going to put in an email address from Nura's site, although you could use a Gmail or Yahoo or Hotmail mail for this. So the default subject, we're going to change the subjects on the individual emails. So we'll leave that blank. Remind people how they got on the list. Always good to write as much here as you can, because the last thing you want is people thinking that your email is unsolicited. And people can forget if they've signed up to your mailing list and you haven't mailed them for a while. So I've written in there, you are receiving this email because you opted in at my website, neurohnash.com. So leave everything else blank and save the list. So we've created our list. Now all we need is to add people onto that list. And the way we're going to do that is get a WordPress plugin to add a form, an email sign up form, to our website. So in the dashboard, we go to plugins, add new, and search for MailChimp widget like that. And that's the one we want. We'll install it now and activate plugin. It says here you need to set up the MailChimp sign up widget plugin options before using it. You can make your changes here. So we'll click that and it's asked us for a valid MailChimp API key. So we go back to MailChimp and let's go up here to our account and click account settings. And under extras, let's click API keys. And here it says we don't have any active API keys, so we'll click Create a Key. And there it is. So we'll copy that and go back to the MailChimp widget settings, which we could have got to under Settings MailChimp widget, and paste in the key there. So that's saved. Now, as it's a widget, we need to go to Appearance Widgets. And we have a widget here that's appeared that wasn't there before, MailChimp list sign up. We'll put that in the primary sidebar above recent posts. And it's already selected our mailing list. It knows that because it's read it from the API. So let's write email newsletter here. Let's go subscribe there and collect first name as it, we're collecting the name there. Here is a success and failure message and obviously if you enter correct email address you'll get the success message. If your email address isn't valid then you'll get the failure message and we'll save that there. Now let's go back to the site and refresh. And there is our email newsletter. But the best thing to do is to test it by adding your details in and seeing if it works. So I've entered my email address there and I get the success message. And I then get an email back from MailChimp. I say it's from MailChimp, but remember it's, it looks like it's coming from Nash, our client, as that was the from name and email address we filled out when we created the list. And we have to confirm the subscription. So we'll click this button. Yes, subscribe me to this list. And that confirms the subscription. Then we receive another email just confirming the subscription. And if you have what's called a lead magnet, which is some sort of gift like an ebook or 
a resources list or an mp3 or a video could be anything that could be attached or a link of that could be attached to this email now we'll go back to mailchimp if we click on the list there there is my email address there is the first name you can actually see when i subscribe to it further down the line of course you can send campaigns by clicking create campaign and that would just send an email out to everyone on your list. So in this lesson, we learned how to set up an account with MailChimp, how to set up a list with MailChimp, and then add an email sign-up form to the sidebar of your website. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you in the next video.